welcome to Koji, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> How am I going to start this vlog, man? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nice Ferrari breath. I want to talk to you guys. Jeez. I want to talk to you guys about why I started doing YouTube, man. I have a YouTube channel that I started in 2006. I think YouTube started in 2005, but I've, I've still got the channel now. I don't really use it. It's a personal channel, but I started uploading videos on there and on Facebook and stuff like that a long time ago because I used to be out and about and I just used to love filming what I was doing because I'm a firm believer that memory fades and HD video lasts forever. And, um, Every time I reflected on photos and stuff like that, it would always take me back to uh, to a certain time or or a certain place that I'd visited in the past. And um, video was just that next step, man. No one was taking video. Everyone was taking photos and stuff like that. And I don't know, man. I don't know if one of my mates got me into, you know, like little action cameras and stuff like that. But I started out with a Contour HD. It was fucking basic as fuck, man. Like GoPro... GoPro weren't even a rare light, weren't even a big thing back then, man. <laughs> they were still around, but they were pieces of shit as well. Contour were making uh, bullet cameras, and uh, GoPro were making these big boxy cameras that no one wanted to use. Guess GoPro had the last laugh, huh? I remember there was a tipping point, man. What really gave me motivation and drive to continue filming and continue doing what I was doing. I don't know. I don't know if it's my personality, but when I tell a story, I think that I get quite excited. Is that my mate's car? I think I get quite excited when I tell a story sometimes, and I think it comes across as a little bit non-genuine, or it comes across as a bit of a lie, or like I'm telling bullshit. Like, fuck, you run into people all the time, man, and they just fucking talk so much shit, dude. And it's just like, mate, like, shut up, bro. Like. Obviously this didn't fucking happen. This is way too fucking extreme, man. And always used to get that look from people. I don't know why. I, I, I honestly don't know why. Maybe you guys can see it in my storytelling, but I always used to get this look of like, oh yeah, like this guy's just talking shit, whatever. And um, you know, and some guys, they made it pretty fucking obvious that they didn't believe me when I was telling stories. To the point where some of them would just say, oh, mate, that's bullshit. Like, no way that didn't happen, blah, 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 whatever. Cool. Anyway, check out this video on my Facebook then. Like, this basically backs up everything I just fucking said. You know what? I'm going to go down here. I don't know what the fuck's down here. What's down this street? I'm going explore. No, let's go. Let's go down this way. I don't know what's down here. Should go up there, but I'm not. Let's see if we can find the water. Anyway, man, these guys didn't believe me and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. Like, no worries, bro. It was a good story, whatever. But I got a video, so, like, check it out. <laughs> and look on their face, man. Every fucking time, dude. Like, oh, the beach is down there. No, there's water there. All right, there's water in front of us. Let's head, uh, let's head down here. <clears throat> anyway, man, the look on their face, dude. Every time I used to show them, like, footage of, like, what happens, like, 100% backing up the story that I just told them that they thought was like fucking complete bullshit dude check this out fucking hell man check out these views we're at our Clavelli at the moment isn't that lovely I'll tell you what let's um you know what let's uh I've never been here before let's get head down here I don't think I've been here before Clavelli what is this, a lawn bowls club? Oh, we don't want to be in here. Unfortunately, I don't meet the minimum age requirement for lawn bowls. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's, um... Let's head down this way. Oh my damn. There's some fit girls around this part, man. There are definitely some very fit women <laughs> around the beach suburbs of Sydney, that's for sure. Alright, so I think this is Clavelli Beach. It looks like there's like ocean pools down there, but... Looks like there's ocean pools down there and everyone's just sitting on the rocks, but I don't actually see a pool. Oh wow, the whole 
thing is a fucking pool. Check that out. Let's try and get around the other side of the... Uh, looks like there's a bay there, the Clavelli Bay. Is that what they would call it? Is this a dead end street? It is. Thanks for signposting that. Fucking council. Oh my god. Fuck trying to reverse the R1. There's a sidewalk. <laughs> through road well, it didn't say this wasn't no through road so let's head down here keep left I think we're on the right path to head down to Clovelly yeah man there's heaps of dudes walking around with towels 100% we're on our way anyway where was I at with that story dude like holy shit that is beautiful I don't know can you guys see that it's like a fucking oasis down there. I actually want to check this place out. Cool thing about motorcycles is we don't have to adhere to uh, parking restrictions. Man, look at that. Isn't that amazing? It is, it's like a fucking ocean pool. Like for real, like a legit ocean pool. There's like stairs and shit over there. And it just feeds straight into the ocean. Oh man, let's find some parking. So this is Clavelli, huh? Mate, this is amazing. I've never been here before. Let's check out what's at the end of these rocks. <laughs> Mate, what an amazing part of the world. We've got a helicopter doing shark patrols along the coast. Amazing. Fucking sick firebolt, bruh. XB12. You don't see many of those around these days, man. You don't see many Buells around these days. Stop making these a long time ago. Very nice. Anyway, I don't actually remember where I was up to with my story. I mean, the reason I started YouTube and blah, 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 and I don't know what it is, man. Like, I, um, I don't think I have that much of an interesting life. I think I just get out there and just try and have as much fun as I can. And I don't know, man. I don't know if it's just people these days don't have enough fun or if people feel like they're friggin' drones just working nine to five and not having any fun outside of work or on the weekends and stuff like that. I try and maximize my fun to work ratio, especially when I'm not working. And I don't know, man. I feel like it inspires people. I don't know, I have fun filming my life and telling a story and turning a whole bunch of footage into something that you can relive and feel like you're right there reliving it as if you were there yourself, even though you're not me. And when I watch it, I feel like I'm back there reliving it like it was like it like I'm in the moment not even like it was yesterday like I'm actually right there 
right at this moment reliving it that's what happens when i watch a lot of my footage it's an amazing thing man it's an amazing thing to keep memories like that because you know, at the end of the day man your memory fades like your memory doesn't you don't quite remember it how it used to be or how it actually was and then when you watch a video and you reflect upon your memory you just you realize that you know you got it wrong in your head and this is how it actually went down in video i don't know man it's sort of like a, a little online diary but that's why i started youtube that's not why i started motor vlogging that's another story for another day oh one more thing guys don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel we have a lot of fun here on this channel man and um as you can see this is my hometown this is sydney australia this is where i live and this is where i motor vlog from so um happy to show you guys around this beautiful city Ooh.